Hi and welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be restoring these rather weathered and faded trims with a heat gun, which is something you may not have seen before. Also these headlights looking a little bit cloudy and misty, which is going to affect their beam pattern, so we'll also give those a quid of a tidy up as well. But first off we're going to put some 2 inch masking tape around this trim to protect it from the heat gun. So you might have actually seen this technique done at things like stadiums, so football stadiums or athletic stadiums where the plastic seats in the stand can get a bit faded and what they actually do, if you google this or look at them on YouTube videos, they go along with a big flamethrower or a torch and they actually blast the seats with heat or flame and it restores the plastic to its former glory. And this is being done here on a miniature scale, so I've got a heat gun which is obviously electric powered and by heating this plastic trim it's going to restore the colour from underneath. This is also really effective on things like motocross bikes where the front, number, uh, front mud guards for example or rear mud guard might get twisted and you get that white plastic line and if you get a heat gun it will restore that as well so this is quite a good trick for a number of applications. The only thing I will point out is this is quite a stinky process because the plastic is getting hot. I definitely wear some sort of respirator to protect yourself and potentially do it in a nice ventilated area. Once the trim is dressed I'm going to put some tyre dressing on this vehicle and I'm also going to use some Auto Glim Super Sheen product which is going to be great for dressing those plastic wheel arch liners. After that it's a bit of Kosh Chemi Plastar which is a really good trim dressing and it's just going to give that plastic we've restored a nice deep sheen and it will last for probably about a month or so. With that done we can now look at doing the headlights and they're not that bad to be honest so we don't need to wet sand them just by using some heavy cut compound and a strong microfiber pad we can buff this sort of haze out of them and restore them to their former glory. I've got to be honest this car's a 2008 so it's probably 15 years old now and it's about 112,000 miles so the headlights are in pretty good condition. I've gone over them two or three times but as we can see as we give it a final buff they've come up really well for its age. So for the hard to reach areas like this blank grill in the centre of this trim, it hadn't faded but I'm just going to use a bit of Auto Glim non-silicon spray just to give it a nice sort of finish. And now we've got some before and afters. So the headlights are a big improvement as we can see on camera. And the weathered trim around this entire car looks fantastic. And the great thing about using this heat gun is it's a pretty permanent fix as well. This is not something that's going to fade and deteriorate within two or three months. I mean over time, yes, given years it will fade back again to how we see on the screen but it's a pretty long term fix. Hopefully you enjoyed this, thanks for watching and I'll see you next weekend with a nice new video.